it's, it's, it's a decision move. This is a family move, you know. I came with my dad and my dad was like, this is what we should do. It's really your, it's your choice. It's not, you know, a lot of people make, uh, parents make other choices for their kids. My dad said, yo, it's your choice. Whatever you want to do, is we gonna, I'm going to be on you. He going to like, he going to be with me. It's not, it's going to take a family thing. Welcome on in to No Chill with Gilbert Arenas. I'm Mike Botticello. He is Agent Zero, Hibachi, No Chill Gil, and Gilbert Arenas. Did I miss anything? Yeah, you're supposed to say my, my name first. Gilbert ah, Arenas, no, and build, then build you it go up. attributes. Build similar. the hype. <laughs> okay. For a man that knows hype. You, you're, you're right, know? you're right, you're All right. right. Now, speaking of hype, we got a very hype dude here. About time you showed up. Yeah. Okay. Harry Walker, <laughs> welcome to No Chill. Yeah. Man, and I say you. that because this has been a long time. I mean, before yeah. we even launched, Gil threw some names at me who we wanted to get. And he said, Kyrie Walker. And I mm -hmm. said, all right, what's up? And I guess this whole thing started, well, you, you fill us in. It started on a DM. Yeah. He, uh, I think he's seen a video. I think he said somebody and he just DM me. I think I was with uh, Zaire Wade. He seen my phone go off. He was like, Gil Barina's DM me. I said, for what? You know, I just, me not knowing, I don't know. So I DM'd him. We just started talking, gave me some good advice, and we just started chatting it up. Was it was it ball don't stop, ball is life, you know? They have put the highlights up there, right? And then you will see, you know, you can see special kids versus just like, okay, he's just Instagram hype. So, you know, I was like, yo, you know, you don't need to be playing with these boys anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, they're, they're, you're too big for this group. Like, you're too big for this group. Stop wasting your time because at the end of the day, you're going to have to play to their level because you're going to get bored. So you need to, you know, fast track, get the hell out of here so you can, you know, start, you know, elevating your, your, your talent. You know, because, you know, that's when I guess, like, it was like Julian... Oh, yeah, you do, you know, yeah. like, you know, you, like yeah. <laughs> no matter what these kids, you know, as good as they are here, they're not, they're not your talent. So you're going to just, you know, mess around with them instead of and really. Play, just play with them. Really, so he yeah, was right though. And, was and, right. and really just take it and just, you know, be that, that animal. Beyond the hype and what you saw, you know, just in highlights, there's some substance to it. So we're going to go through where you've been. Uh, Hillcrest Prep in Phoenix, your five-star recruit, 2017 Max Preps National Freshman of the Year. And then this year, you made a move. We talked about this before. We're going to call you a pioneer because it's a hell of a move. It's, it's obviously been a strange year, but you went, instead of going to college, mm -hmm. you took this year uh, to be at Chameleon BX mm -hmm. to work strictly on becoming a pro. Yeah, that's it's a... It's, it's, it's a decision move. This is a family move, you know. I came with my dad, and my dad was like, this is what we should do. It's really your, it's your choice. It's not, you know, a lot of people make, uh, parents make other choices for their kids. My dad said, yo, it's your choice. Whatever you want to do, is we gonna, I'm going to be on you. He going like, to be with me. It's not, it's going to take a family thing. My mom, my sister, my dad, grandma, they're with me on this decision. So it's not just like, oh, I made it. No, my dad made my decision. My dad didn't make my decision. He helped me on that decision. I could have went to college, yeah. I could have. But I wanted to be a better person. You know what I'm saying? They worry about, you know, college basketball or no, if this is gonna happen, if not. I had to think outside of that, like, what if it don't happen? I might as well get ready for the draft. Let's lock in, let me focus, and let me become a really a pro. Like a lot of people say, they're like, oh yeah, he a pro. Okay, let's see, we're gonna do what it takes to be a pro. We're not gonna say, oh, he a pro and not do what it takes. We actually got to do it. It's going to be a process. You know, when you when when people ask me, I said, you know, everyone has their own different road. You know, it's it's trying to fast forward yourself a year from now and say, all right, if I go to college, if I go prep, if I go overseas, if I just say, you know what, I'm going to train with professionals, which one is going to be the better decision? You don't have an answer. No one has an answer. Only, only, only you can, you know, dictate what's going on. Dictate what's gonna, what's gonna happen. You know, um, the program is that where Frank's at? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Man. And okay, so for people that don't know, who is Frank? Because he's somebody that's been in your past. Okay, let's, so, let's rewind it because so it's the new the, version with Kyrie. So after the 0506 playoffs with LeBron, mm -hmm. right? I missed but LeBron did shoulder tap. Yeah, yeah the shoulder did, did the shoulder tap. I missed those two free throws, right? And then I shot, shot a thousand, two thousand right after the game. 
right? Season's over yeah, with. Yeah. I just I just couldn't you get it. Clicking, you started trying to figure it out. And then you know I'm thinking about you know watching the playoffs, thinking about was it Nick Anderson who missed the free throws? Oh yeah. And because I, I was an Orlando Magic fan, I was a big Penny fan, and I didn't want that. That that mindset that to be on you, you know, yeah. just every time I'm at the free throw line, is that gonna happen to me? Yeah. You know, so I said, you know what, I need to I need to do something different. I need to get my mental right. I'm hitting everyone, everyone. Hey, I need some a mental expert. Some, and it was like, oh, we got a guy especially for you. <laughs> and uh, he's out of San Francisco. He does uh, black ops training and this and this and this. And I was like, I'm I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. You know, I was like, cause listen, I'm trying to catch Kobe and do all this and. And I went there and that's all it was. It was about mental focus. It was just a, the biggest mental challenge I ever went through. Like, you know, just, you know, we're, we're going to shoot. Like, right then they didn't have, ba- he didn't have basketball. Yeah. You know, so he'd just be like, all right, uh, each spot, a thousand makes. And you know, it's like, wait, what? A thousand makes, let's go. And then shooting a thousand makes, the mind goes through its mm. own you know, thinking. Like you missed maybe 20 in a row, yeah. and you got to lock back in. <laughs> yeah, lock back. So it's like, you, yeah. you know, Because yeah. right, you got to get to the, you're going to, you, you're getting, you got to get to the thousand no matter what. So your mind has to lock in. Yeah. And so that's you can what make the thousand yep. shots. So you if you don't, the you're, you're going to get mad. You're going to throw the ball here <laughs> yeah. and there. So you got to actually lock in yeah. for that thousand. Yeah. <laughs> so you, that yeah. you've been there. <laughs> yeah. I, man, I've been, I've been <laughs> in that there, situation. I get mad. I tuck the ball down the court. I'm like, bro, this is pointless. You still got to finish it. But you still got to finish it though. Yeah. And the next level of training there is that it puts you in uncomfortable situations, which is you can always have your routine and work Mm -hmm. out with your trainer, it's cool. But if you do something that breaks all that, like you said, you shoot, you try to make a thousand shots and all of a sudden you're turning your wrist and your cock and you're missing 20. And then you have that mental capacity to build it back up. So I was like, all right, so now I feel even better than any other workout. Yeah, and that that was the real key because, you know, when I went into that next season, that was the season where I was hitting all the game winners, beating everybody at the free throw line. Uh, break, I broke damn near every record. Clay and uh, Clay Thompson ended up breaking most of them. Um, but that was the, <laughs> the 60, 54, 51, yeah. 16 in overtime, 46 in 30 minutes. You know, that's where, yeah. you know, because I, I knew how to lock in now. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's, that's a good place to be. So, so, so what that accomplishes, mind. you're almost unbeatable, unguardable. Like you oh, have yeah. an answer for everything. That, That's you, really what you're striving for. Yeah, really, pretty much it. Yeah. You got to tap into a whole different mode. It's there, it's there, you get to the league. It's, you know, it's, it's not easy, but it's pretty easy to get to the league. But it's, is you going to stay and perform? You don't want a two-way. It's not, you know, but you want to stay and perform and actually lock in. When you're on the court, you got to be completely locked. I always been locked when I'm on the court. I ain't, I ain't basketball is my gateway through anything. If I'm a bad day, let me go shoot. Let me go do this. When I'm on the court, I'm locked in. I ain't worried about what you say or he say or whatever. I'm going to lock in for that whole entire game. And with him, he's going to put me in different situations where I'm not going to like it. But guess what? I'm going to do what it takes to be to be that pro. What you just said, that's almost more important. Uh, it's that basketball is an outlet. So you can train, you can get in your, your shots on, and you can do your weight stuff, you can, all, all that. But basketball as an outlet for you, it can help you if you're dealing with stuff with your family, stuff like, you know, at school, whatever. I'm gonna just go in the gym, just cause it's therapy yeah. for me. But, but that's, you know, that's, that's, that's been, you know, any, any athletes, you know, that's that's been their getaway, yeah. you know. That 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 the field, the tennis court, the track, the basketball court, and you know, like somebody like um, A. B. Mm-hmm. You know, you you took his outlet away from him, and you and it's like you start going crazy in the world. <laughs> start crazy. It's like it's, and it, and it sucks though mm-hmm. because you, but it's true. Mm-hmm. When you take somebody who put their life into it, like it's if anybody play basketball, that's your life. Mm-hmm. Regardless of anything. Whatever you do, that's your life now. It's no, all right, you know what? I don't feel like playing today. Mm-hmm. It's none of that. Yeah. It's your life. I used to care about rankings. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was that guy that cared about rankings. Where I was ranked at, at this point, regardless. It's funny, a lot of people think I fell off, in a way. You ask anybody in the world, they're gonna be like, no, he didn't. People made it seem like I did because of Instagram, the rankings, 
they going or they going to say, oh, he's ranked, he's ranked here and that. They're going to take me off the rankings and make it seem like I was. They took me off the rankings. I didn't really care. I'm like, you get, it's you, funny. I was looking for that. I was like, you man, get, well, I know he's got to be because, ranked. Because I was going through be, all of them, every you know, site. Because he's, because he's not playing his mm-hmm. senior year, it's like, where do yeah, like, where, where you going to put me? Like, like uh, was it um, Mellow Ball? Mm-hmm. No, uh, LaMelo. When he went overseas, you know, you don't have a place for him. Yeah. You know, you don't have a place for him. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be ranked with y'all anyway because I'm superseding. So the next time you see me, what's up? Just like, you know, LaMelo. Like, he goes overseas. Like, oh, he only averaging three. Well, he's averaging three against men. Yeah. That's a different, that, that, them are men. He's learning these bumps. And so the next time you see this kid, it's going to be in draft day. That's, and that's, what, and that, <laughs> and that's he's, he's right. I didn't care, though. Like people, and they made it seem like it was a big deal. Cause I, I've been, I've been a five star recruit my whole life. I'm not, I moved around the ring cause went to like 11, 12, but I've been a five star my whole life. Soon I, I, I didn't play, then, then I fell off. That's, it, it is crazy. I didn't play my senior year and all of a sudden I fell off. I did this, he's not ranked, he's not eligible for college. Like I was like, I was reading all these things. Like, what are you talking about? But you came to me talking about, we're going to put you here and there. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's fine with me. But at the end of the day, rankings don't matter. Because guess what? When you're not cool with somebody who ranked higher than you, you're lunch me at this point. <laughs> you're really lunch me. The rankings, don't, the rankings can't save you when you're on the court with somebody who, who know the game really well. It's going to really be like, okay, you rank higher than me? So what? Guess what? You're lunch me to me now. I'm going to destroy you. Rankings are basketball on paper. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, so yeah. rankings are a bunch of non-basketball People opinions. People's <laughs> opinions, which their opinions doesn't evaluate individual skill versus someone who has a team concept. You know what I mean? So let's say my team is ranked number one and I'm the best player on it. I'm going to be higher in the rankings versus someone who's carrying the whole load, averaging 40, 30, yeah, getting we, triple team, getting double team. You don't know because he, we're double teaming him. We're triple teaming him. For, so he won't get the same respect. So he don't get the same respect because you don't really see his, you can't see his 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 attribute. And it, they don't really factor for that. Yeah, they don't There's factor. No they, yeah, you don't factor that. You don't factor for height. You don't, fa- you don't really factor for most of the stuff because at the end of the day, this kid who was ranked one, he ain't even ranked anymore. This, this kid who's ranked 35. How's he averaging 30 in college? Well, because that system fit him. How is he ranked one, two? He got drafted two, three, four. This kid who's 10th is the all-star. Because they didn't take in heart. <laughs> they didn't take it in, happens. you know, just work ethic. They didn't, you, you don't, you, you can't measure none of that. That's why when you do statistic type of, none of that means anything. This is a true story. They said it's in the NBA now where they have, they put on machines that tell you like your energy output, mm-hmm. right? Energy output if you're fatigued and all this. So I remember when they were just trying to introduce that, right? They put it on me and they were like, yeah, see, we can tell you that today is not gonna be a very good day for you. Like um, it's gonna be below average day because your energy levels are at 30%. I said, that's, that's what these machines are telling you? I said, does this <laughs> machine tell you that the person that's guarding me don't know how to play defense. Does it say that? Does this machine tell you he don't know how to play defense and I'm about to go one four flat the whole game against him and I'm about to have about 40? Does it, does it, it, doesn't, it doesn't tell you none of that, huh? Man, take this off. <laughs> have 40. <laughs>
we won't, then my dad could be comfortable again. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say the, the worst part maybe is what you said was not being on rankings or sort of being off the radar because you're not going that traditional path of big time, blue chip school, on the NBA draft board, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're going, you know, your own way. You're eligible yeah. now, right? Yeah. For draft, yeah. Reality is this. Yeah. High school rankings and NBA talent. Oh, yeah, different. Two things. different worlds. Yeah. Once you get into a workout, that's that's all you need. That's It has nothing to do with, ra- like, rankings can get you in the door. They can, oh, yeah, we're going to, no, 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 no. This when you when you get to work out, yeah, when you and we're gonna push through the workout, I'm like, oh, yeah. wait a minute, hold on, we got young fella. Okay, okay, because you gotta remember, the younger you are, the bigger your your ceiling is. You know what I mean? That that the, you, you have a bigger ceiling. You know, sitting at 19, 20, you have a bigger ceiling versus a junior. I don't know, the junior average. Let's say the junior average, 30. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna look at him. Yeah, but his ceiling's not. Stable. But I know where his ceiling is. I see what you are yeah. at that age versus this young kid. Let me yeah. let me see what you know, young fella guy. Yeah. Let me you know what. Let me see y'all compete. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the young fella. You know yeah. what I mean? Like if you if you barely beating the young fella, he's yeah. he's yeah. right here. Yeah. Like you know, and that's and that's what when you get in front of the scouts, so different. All you man. do is just do you. Just hoop. Just hoop. You just hoop. You just go out there and hoop. You know, being a being like. Be in the best shape, like understand, study basketball. Like that's all it takes. It's just understanding the game, studying the game, willing to get better. And you know, when you when you get drafted, it ain't about if you're gonna get. When you get drafted, yeah, it's you no, get there. What do I gotta do? That's and it's different. What I gotta do? People think it's not gonna work. You can say that. I, that's okay. That's fine. But when it works, I don't want to hear that from you. I don't. You know, don't switch sides. It's, it's mm-hmm. okay to have that opinion. I tell everybody, kids DM me on Instagram, how do I get ranked? How do I get noticed? Don't worry about ranking. I learned that, I think I dropped in a ranking. I went to like 25 or something like that. I From there, I said, I see how it is. I was on, it's crazy. I played with McCord Maker going to, uh, going to Harvard. Mm-hmm. Howard. Me and him playing on the same team together. Deadly duo. Crazy thing is, we, we had came together and we said, yo, the rankings, us having 20, 30 a game, don't matter. We we're trying, we're trying to be number one team in the country. When you on that, when you on that, when another person come to me and be like, yo, let's talk. We, I don't want to be, I don't, I don't want to have 20 a game. We're trying to be number one team in the country. I say, yo, you, oh, you, you on my team regardless. Mm-hmm. I had teammates like that, and I was okay with that. Yeah, I can have like 15. I'm pretty sure I'm at 10 assists, 10 rebounds. Mm-hmm. I was cool with that. I think one game, we played, uh, we played the regular team. I had 17. Had 15 assists in front of Mike Miller, Penny Hardaway, Coach K, um, Coach Izzo. I was See, fine. That's, that's what that, I was that, fine with that. That's the shift that scouts scouts see it, the NBA see it, but like if if you're basically going off of rankings they get in college, they don't understand that your generation. When I say your gen, your it's it's your it's your generation. These last four years. That sitting there saying, I want to play with him. You know what? Let me, I want to, I want to go, I will go across the country, state lines to play with this guy. You know, and like I'm averaging 40, but I want to win. You know, I want to go, I want to go and travel like an NBA team and play, 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 and play the best. So I'm averaging 30, I'll average 15. What's that? Uh, you want me? Uh, and, and that's what kids, that's what, that's what the talent is doing. And it's, it's crazy because it's like you guys are already building NBA championship type of teams in high school. So I'm, I'm just imagining what happens when all these kids get to the NBA and free agencies are up. And they're saying, ah, forget that. I'm coming over here with you. What's up? Let's win this championship. And that's that's where it's going. Yeah. That, you know, the winning winning and, and being part of a winning situation is really the most important thing now in, 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 in kids' in kids' visions. Right, the shift is it's about building winning culture, not about stat chasing. Yeah, yeah a you lot know, of so people It's stat- not about my individual shine. A lot of people stat chase. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think my junior year, I averaged a triple double, like 30, 10, and 10, my junior year. That was the reason that I, I hit you on the DM. Because once you become the alpha, where's the challenge? 
once you're doing a certain numbers and you're doing it, what what do I get better by doing it again? What do you say to that? It's it's like you left. <laughs> At this point, like, I didn't play my senior year. What would that outcome be? What would I have accomplished? Nothing. He's right. My dad had to tell me that. I'm willing to play my senior year. I really did. Mm. Listen to him, listen to my dad, listen to people that know basketball. Not the people that know of it, that know basketball and been through it and know and see people and have that experience. I had to listen and understand like they're right. What I was my average, what, 40, 10, and 15, 40, 15, and 10. And, and yeah, being McDonald's or American, that cool. The McDonald's or American don't matter to don't matter to me. A McDonald's or American won't get you in the league. Sorry, it sucks to say, but yeah. Being a top top 15 player won't get you in the league. It can help, but it won't get you in the league. Won't get you in the league. What gets you in the league is hard work, dedication. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's, it's your really your will. Are you willing to do this? I'm willing to be in the cage with some lions. Might get beat up a little bit. Yeah, I get beat up, but guess what? I'm gonna make sure I come out that. I'm gonna be out that cage when that time comes. I'm gonna be that that lion. Yeah, you're gonna be in that cage. You'll be in the case of wrestling. Yeah, I'll let you be. I'll let you do that. But me, I ain't gonna be in no case for a long time. And that's Frank. That's that, what Frank yeah, does. That right? is the, that, I mean, that I mean, just the mindset alone is is what smart general managers will pick up on. Some people get paid for what they're doing now. Some people get paid for where I see him going. And there's, 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 there's two different type of players you pay, pay. You're paying for, okay, he's, he's good right now. And you have a young kid who I'm watching. I'm watching compete. I'm watching fight. I'm watching never give up. I'm watching him come in four days a week, you know, boom, boom. When, when, when everyone leaves, he's back at the gym. We're, I'm paying him because I know where I know where it's gonna lead me. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna pay him now so he don't have to worry about money on his mind. He can just worry about still keeping his track going. You know, and those of that's what this the this we call it the special talent has. You know, I remember when, you know, I was watching Westbrook interview, and you can see the mindset right there that. Oh, he's gonna be a dog. Like he's he's good. He's a fierce warrior right here. You know, he's not gonna back down. You can you can see it in Dame Leonard's demeanor. You can see, you know, what type of you know person he is. Just, you know, when I'm on that court, I don't I don't care who you are. I'm the best point guard. I mean, what's so funny is if you ask, if you ask Kyrie, Dame, Westbrook, Curry, who who the best point guard? Three of them gonna say them. The only person who won't say them is Curry, because he's humble. You know, he, you know, whoever, whoever it is is whoever it is. That's the type of personality he is. The other three, me, I don't care about that. I don't care about the other. <laughs> you know what I mean? How, but that's how it is, though. You're not gonna see nobody else. But now somebody asks you, like, in your opinion, who it is? Do you blow? Like, oh, yeah, okay, then I might give my opinion a good, some good guards, some good players. But until then, like, I'm gonna say myself. Mm -hmm. Think of the way those guys came up. Guys like Dame, four-year school, mid-major, off the radar. Uh, Westbrook slept on a bit. UCLA, sh sure, a big-time program, but you know he had to prove himself. You're doing that as well. You're putting that on yourself to where, okay, you, you guys don't want me to go this. You want me to go that route? Well, and I don't no, want to. No, 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 Why? no, no, no. That's is not the same. Mid-major is mid-major. No, no, no. I'm saying it's a challenge. The challenge is the no, same. Not okay. It's it's no different than Kyrie. Irving, you're, you're top in the country, coming out of high school, you go to college, you get hurt, you play a few games. He got hurt. You, yeah, that's what I'm saying, you play a few games, you're off the radar. Draft, draft comes and you start training. Oh, okay, never mind. He's, yeah. uh, he's still nice. Let's go, number uh, one. That's, that's how he's no, but he's <laughs> right, so, but that's how, it, it, that's how they, they're seeing it. I haven't played a game because over a year. I haven't played. So people gonna be thinking, they're like, is he still good? They're gonna question, they're gonna be like, okay, is he still what he was? I am. I'm if y'all watch me play today, I'm ten times better what I was my junior year. 
by far. It's no question, nobody. Just because I didn't play my senior year doesn't mean I was not hooping, working out every single day. You know, it, it, it's not that it's not that they think you feel like it's not like an injury had you fall. No, yeah. they just think, okay, we don't see him. I, I, I don't, I'm not on the grant. No. No, no, a lot of people thought I quit. A lot of people really thought I quit, though. A lot of people really thought I gave up basketball. I never gave up basketball. I was working on my craft. I had to really, like, deep inside, I had to figure out what I was going to be. Was I going to be a high school legend? Which I don't want to be. Like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I don't want to be that. You don't want to peak in high school. Yeah, I don't want to be that. Yeah. I want to be a high school legend. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, he used to be tough in he high school. tough in high school, yeah. Then what happened? Yeah, high school, high school basketball is cool. But that's not the that's not the like the that's not your end goal. You try to make it to the league, you try to be that dude in the league. I had to really, I had to give in. I had to, I really had to be like, yo, you know what? Y'all had that, y'all have that. Senior year, I'll let you everybody do them. I won't you know, go out there, you know, do my little 40, 10, all that. You know what? I'm gonna cool, I'm gonna work on my game and get better. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just strictly work on my game. I'm gonna strictly work, work, play against pros because playing against high school kids, I'm going to kill them. Yeah, I remember that's what I said. I said, you know, this is, what was that? I hit you your junior year, right? Junior and I was year. like, yo, you already have an NBA body. <laughs> yeah. I said, you yeah, already have my, an NBA my, body. My junior year, I was, and it was, I was making the decision like, yo, was I, am I really going to sit out? Like, I, he, he would tell me, I'm like, I, you know, I, nah, I'm cool. I want to play. I wanted to be at McDonald's on Mirror, Jordan Bear. I wanted to be that. Because my, when you grind so hard, yeah. you want that accomplishment. Mm -hmm. You want that feeling, you want to be like, dang, I was a McDonald's American high school. But you want that. But you had to think like, yo, like, that's not the end goal. Like, you can't just worry about, oh yeah, I'm gonna be a McDonald's American. Cool, whatever. I wanna play on TV. I play, I play on TV. I'm good with that. I'm, I'm cool. I'll play on TV maybe two or three times. I'm cool with that. But I wanna make it to the league. I wanna stay there. And you know, how does that Sacrifice. I mean, you know, it, it's just sacrificing. That's the weird thing that people don't understand. Like, you know, you have talent out here that's willing to sacrifice these accomplishments for bigger accomplishments. And yeah, these are important, that. but I, I, I see a track that no one's going, but I think I can be a better 19, better 20-year-old at this point if I take this route versus where I am now. You know, and that's just like that. It, it just remind me of Lamella Ball too. No one's seen the route, and I'm saying, yeah, he's gonna miss all his his high school attributes. But when you have to face a kid who's been playing professional, been playing with that, been training NBA training, and you're just coming out of college, and you face this, he's 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 far superior at this point. He's been trained for this. He's been mentally training He's for this. Supercharged. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's been men you've been mentally training for. You've been working out. You've been getting hit. You've been learning how to adapt to NBA mm. physical players. So when a college player meets you, there's no. Comp it, it ain't a competition. One is already NBA ready. It's already been trained. It's been studying. It's been looking. It's been learning the rules. Nobody understands that though. That's what I was gonna say. No, for a lot you, of people, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people didn't get it. A lot of people don't understand. They was like, oh, yeah, he was he he was cool. Yeah, back in high school, he was he was good. Yeah, years ago, you could say that. But I always, <laughs> but I always <laughs> been, but I always was doing what I had to do. I always been killing. I always been on the top. I, but you, but people make it seem like it was okay. Yeah, he used to be good. Yeah, you can say that, but I'm not worried about what I was used to been. Mm -hmm. Worry about right now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get to the league. Yeah, you can be like, but nobody, you, people don't understand. You gotta sacrifice something. Mm -hmm. I sacrificed my whole senior year. I let people bash me on social media, write reports about me. Scouts call my my phone, my dad's phone, tell them, um, yeah, we might, you know, he's all right now. I let them do that my whole senior year for this point for me to become something bigger. And we know you mentioned your dad's in your corner. Who else, when they saw you going this direction, who else came to you with support? My family. A lot of my friends didn't agree with it. I knew that. No one, you know, it, no one, no one could agree with something that they've that's never happened before. Yeah. You know what I mean? You you. This it's is because new. it's never happened before. No one sees it because no one's done it. 
as, as yeah. I, mm -hmm. you know, coming out of high school, I'm a really high caliber player, really big on social media, been a really big time guy. So they gonna be like, they gonna be like, yo, what is this? I got so much hate for it, I ain't gonna lie. It was crazy. But at the end of the day, I didn't do a decision for them. I did a decision for me and for my family and what's gonna work. I believe in what Frank gonna do. I seen him. I believe that he gonna make me into something different. And then when it happens, it's a lot of people gonna be like, all right, you you did something. But is but is it different? You gotta be different. You can't be the same. Going to college is cool. I never said don't go to college. Never said that. But do what you think is best for you. So was it that college wasn't for you? No, this in is, a, this in just a, throughout there. Who was on the table? It was Memphis, it was USC, like, I had, UCLA. I had Memphis, UC, it was like Memphis, USC, UCLA. Um I think those were probably my top three. Arkansas, probably my four that I was gonna go with. So they were all on the table. You had really good options. I, I, I kind of played, that's in the conference, really. So mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? Let me, but Frank had a point. I talked to Frank on the phone. He was like, they're getting you ready for college games. They're not getting you ready for the league. They're getting you ready for, you play, say I went to UCLA. We're playing USC tonight. Mm -hmm. Who going Tiger? Kyrie, you got Tiger. Mm -hmm. Say I went to Memphis. Uh, no, say I went to uh, USC. We're playing Arizona State. You got you got Josh Christopher tonight. Mm -hmm. He had 20 last game. Well, let's hold him to 15. You're not, they're getting ready for that type of game. Now here, you getting ready for 82 games now. You got to get ready for <laughs> Dang, we just we just got done playing Atlanta. Trey, you know, we got done playing Trey Young. Damn, we gotta go. We gotta play. We gotta go. Memphis play John Morant now. So like, come on. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's a. That's what I said. It's a. It's a different game. That's why you know, real scouts have never understood why great college kids fall coming to the NBA and average college kids thrive. You know. You know, like a Zach Levine played, came off the bench in college. And now he, <laughs> you know what I mean? He like came top, off the bench in college, and boom, he comes into the league. He starts. You know, Cormageddy came off the bench in college. You know what I mean? So it's not. It's if you have the NBA game, if you have the NBA, you're just passing through. You know what I mean? So it's if he if he didn't want to pass through, I don't want to pass through. I just wanna I want to get ready now. I want to mentally get ready. I want to physically get ready, and I want to train for that level. I don't I don't need this level. Like I remember. College basketball isn't NBA basketball. It's not. There's no two-three zone. There's no boxing ones. There's there, that is not the same game as here. Yeah, like, this is one-on-one. -on -one. This is you know you have concepts, you have angles, you have mismatches. But like you're not That's dealing. You're not with. dealing with a Patrick Beverly in college basketball. Mm -hmm. no. You're not. You have to get ready to deal with Patrick Beverly. <laughs> yeah, you got to like, mentally get ready. Like, yeah, and it, like, like to be Patrick Beverly, he's that on a daily basis. Like he, he's that's that, his game. He, he's he's going he's going that whole game. You're going to get that the whole game. There's yeah, and no, he, he wouldn't get to be able to do that in college. No, you're not. Can't. So but that's what I'm saying. But you go from but that's you go from Patrick Beverly. Then you got to go to Kyrie Kyrie Irving. John Morant. Then John Morant, and then come back and guard LeBron because he then a Ben Simmons. Like so, you're. Like you're mentally getting ready you're for not, you're not guarding a bench in twenty different anymore. type of guards. Yeah, and, and the other thing about college, you know, they'll if a Kyrie can't really be a Kyrie in a motion offense. So those no, but, things but like not even, he's unleashed a, but, when he's in but the NBA. I understand because you know I went to college and my decision when I came, I was the last person to say I'm going to enter the draft, and if my competition, which is who I was practicing against. You know, McDonald's All-Americans, you know, Lauren Woods, Michael Wright, uh, RJ, you know, uh, Jason Gardner. Th that, that's my group. So if they're gone, why am I coming back? So I can lead the team in scoring and all the guards that's coming in and scared of me. They're not going to make me better. I might as well just jump into the NBA and just fight. And that's, that was the reason I came back. I was like, which one's going to make me a better player in one year? Trust me, I went through like, oh, man, I don't think I'm ready for this. No, I, did, I did that. I'm, but I've, I've been through that. Stuff. <laughs> I did, you you already been through that, yeah. I've been through like, should I really do this? Mm -hmm. I, there have been times where I question myself, like, yo, yo, this is the right decision? And so for the people that don't know what you're actually doing now, it's hardcore. Yeah. So the group is, it's a select few. 
it's a cream of the crop and it's it's like boot camp basically. Yeah. Right, um, right now the football players are there: Von Miller, Odell Beckham Jr., um, Cam Newton. Uh, a couple others was there. They're still there, so we just at this point, you know, I'm just getting there, trying to get settled in and get ready to get work, to get at it, pretty much. That's when you know it's high level. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, I, that's why I knew like I was getting myself into a situation. Like I knew I worked out with Frank once before a game. Worst decision of my life. <laughs> but I, it was good though because I felt like I felt good. But when I found out, I talked to Odell. He told me he was like Frank is no joke. They don't do weights. He don't. You won't lift not one plate, not one weight plate, no bar, no nothing. You go to a park and get on a and get on something and you just gotta, I don't, it's so hard yeah. to explain, but it's like so weird. Well, you more yeah, than that, you like, get on a thing, but. But you're sitting there holding yourself like it's all military. Yeah, you know, Mil- all military I was gonna say military, yeah, yeah, body, like, weight, body weight, body um, weight, you run up, you run up those stairs, you run up those stairs, 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 like it's no, it's no joke. But it's good because you're not, there's no weights. And people are like, oh, you gotta lift weights to get strong. No, you don't, it's, it's cap. You can really tighten everything up. Making everything better, making everything you, you everything gotta be a pinpoint. You gotta be able to before a pin drop, you gotta be able to catch it first. Mm-hmm. You gotta be precise. You gotta be poised. I'm trying to be great. You know, this is you know. At one point, you gotta understand. Like, are you gonna be willing to die for it? I'm, I'll die for this game. You can just work on your skills all day, get your body right, but you'll plateau. So you need an extra level of a challenge. And not a lot of guys get that. They're happy with status quo. My whole senior year, I was working. Truth be told, I was trying to get in this year's draft. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows that. It's funny. I'm going to tell now because, you know, it's, at this point, it's like, I was trying to get in this year's draft. I was maybe a month out from getting into it. I was working out every day. Working out with a uh, shooting coach, Phil Beckner. Mm-hmm. Phil Probably got my jump shot where it need to be at this point. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Worked out with him my junior year. From there, came. reason I was scoring the 30, not because I was going to the rim, because I was shooting mid-range threes. I was switching up the game. People keep saying that mid-range is dead. Cap. It's coming Terrible. back. Cap. It's Cap. going to be alive. <laughs> Any like in the mid-range setup is probably like the best thing. Mm-hmm. I love, for me, I love posting up anybody that guards me. One, because it's like, you're a little guy and I'm going to destroy you the whole game just because I know how it is. I used to play big man. Mm-hmm. I was never a guard, I played big man. I was like, I, was a, I played like the four and the five. But then when I got older and you know, grew a little bit, I had to switch up again from the one to the four. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, put a, put a little guard on me. She's gonna be done for the rest of the game. You had to switch the lineup, put a three on me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bring your three out the paint. <laughs> Put your four on me because mm-hmm. I'm going to the paint. Mm-hmm. Your four is going to get destroyed. You're going to you have to go two, three. Mm-hmm. And that's what teams start trying to do. They went two, three. Then I started going to the middle and started destroying them. But from there, just folk, I had to focus on my game, lock in on your game. Are you going to be the same person you was your junior year? No. My dad said, how are you going to get better? You're not playing this year. What are you going to do? I told him, like, we're going to work out every day. What do you mean? He said, no. We're not gonna work out every day. You're gonna get better every day. It's different from working out. Yeah, yeah. It's different from, oh yeah, we're gonna go work out. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're gonna work out, but is it, are you gonna get better every day or are you just gonna work out every day? And, and that, that is a very important conversation that people really need to have with themselves. Yeah, you worked out yeah. twice today, but did you actually get better today? Getting better is the plan. Also getting better, you can pick his brain and do that. So <laughs> let's run some Ask Agent Zero. I've been told the LeBron situation. Uh-huh. I really want to know, like, like did like him touching you? Did it really make you miss? Like, I really <laughs> want to know that. Like, I always thought, like, I always I seen it before. It's like somebody brought it to me, like, yo, you seen this? I'm like, no. He was like, give a reason to miss a shot after LeBron touched him. I said, <laughs> come on, like, who does that? I seen it. And I said, I really. Now, you know what's so funny about that whole the whole series? So. Okay, so Larry Hughes is over there, yeah. right? So, so we already have we we already have. So, when we go to Cleveland, everyone went to LeBron's house. So you know LeBron and now his wife Savannah, they have just been watching TV. 
me, Maverick, Larry, uh, uh, Jones will be gambling. So mm. we just used to just talk shit the whole night, the whole night. And anytime I want money, I was like, the landlord's here. Where's my <laughs> rent money? Right? That was my thing. So throughout that series, when they're shooting, when they're shooting, uh, uh, getting ready for the game, I'll, oh, hey, hey, coach, tell that mother. Where's my rent money? And you better not play him. You better not put him in the game. You put Damon Jones in the game, one four flat, baby. That's all I'm doing. So I used to talk Damon Jones and not get it in the game because they were scared that I was just going to go one four flat on him, right? So I was, I'm just sitting there. We're just playing chess with each other. So, the, so Damon Jones didn't play none that game. No, no, no. He done. He was he was done game five. The, the game five because... There was game five. Soon as soon as he got in, I'm do- so I ended up having like 45 that game. Mm-hmm. So they didn't put him in game six. So back home, game six, I'm already talking trash. You ain't playing a day. Like that was our <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. So when he hits, when he touches me at the free throw line, he's like, you know, if you miss this, it's game over. You know who's gonna come in. Right? It was one of those. Oh. So I'm sitting there, like, I don't even know why I thought about what he said, because usually like game over, you ain't coming in, game over, right? So what ends up happening is I botched them both, missed them both. Like, as I remember, that I just hit the three to get us the yeah, overtime. I, yeah. So I'm on fire. So when he subs in, Damon Jones come in. But if you look at Damon Jones' face when he came in, yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah. But that's why everyone was so happy with them because it was, it was like a little inner beef. Yeah. So when he, like, because I'm thinking, no one's thinking LeBron's going to pass it Damon Jones. No way. Yeah, I, I, no one. He I, didn't play. He ain't been playing. He ain't passing he didn't him. Play that, yeah, he didn't play the whole no, game. No, he didn't play the whole game. So, yeah. I'm and, not, and like, you know, what the, what, he, he ain't going in. And, and the fact that LeBron passed him the ball was like the, the biggest disappointment. Like, yo, who does? Like, no, that hurt more. I feel like, he, I ain't gonna <laughs> that hurt this. more because. That, 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 he I'm, didn't play that whole game. You gonna let him hit that? I'm yeah, like, and I've been he also talking, got you twice then. And I've been talking trash to him. Like, you think LeBron prepped him on that? Said, look, I'm at one point we'll get him and then be ready, come in, find your spot in the corner. Because it, it was too perfect though. That's why right. it was it, it was, it was it way too it was way too perfect. So I'm like, it could it could have been, but it couldn't. So it's like it would happen way too easily. I watched it back. I'm like, <laughs> like what's so funny, that was the mental thing I was thinking about. Did I mean, did he t- did they put him in on purpose? Did he really do that? Was he willing to lose that game if Damon Jones didn't make that shot? Who, who goes to Damon Jones? Yeah, that's who what I'm saying. Like, it's, <laughs> way, it's way too real <laughs> like if it was for you like, to think to like, we're going to give him the ball. We're going to give him the ball. There's no way. Like I, I, that, but th- that was my thought. Pro- that's what I'm saying. That's what made me mentally just, think, yeah. because I'm sitting here like, would I have done that? Hell no, I wouldn't have done that. Pass it to someone who just got in a game who ain't been playing. Didn't play the whole game. No, no way. No, like it always can't. And you gotta remember, LeBron's already hit two game oh, yeah. winners that series on layup. So no way he's giving it to Damon Jones. You ain't no. thinking. You think he finna He did that it. on purpose. He did it on purpose. <laughs> he did it on purpose to mess with me. Like, like, but, but that it was. Could, but it could have been planned though. He'll be like, okay. I feel like, did they call a timeout before that position? Yes, they called timeout. But that's what I'm saying. They I'm, called timeout, I, put him in. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I see him over there, and I'm like, there's no way he's coming in the game. And he comes in the game, like. I feel like it could it <laughs> There's no way he's going to pass it to him. He's but that's what I'm saying. No, he's so, going to make it. But, 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 but think about it. You already told yourself none of this is going to happen because no one, like, 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 you see him straight. Like, he took off his thing. To, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, you're not taking them serious. Ah, get out of here. Nobody put David Jones in there. You ain't putting him in there. He's coming in the game. Man, get your ass in the corner, bro. Ain't nobody care about you. Wide open. LeBron ain't going to pass in the ball anyway. LeBron yeah. passing the ball and he hits it. It's like that's the one person <laughs> you in the whole the gym that you didn't want to hit the, that. I didn't want to hit the shot. We're going to wrap this up, but it was worth the wait getting you on here. This was a long time coming, a long time in the works, and you are, I think you've proved this today to everyone, you are a real one. Oh, yeah. And you you really, you're standing behind your statement and what you're about to do. You got real fans here, that's for sure. Um, If you ever want, if you ever need uh, 
anything. Watch, you want me to watch some film, look at it, tell you Thank what you. to do? I will. I'm here. No, yeah, I will. As you can see, I have little kids working out in the back. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I'm a, no, I will. He's just, yeah, it's, it's a whole camp here. Yeah. It's just, just getting ready, man. Just A lot of people don't understand what you got to go through to be good, to be great. Or if you if you got a good team, good support, you guys to help you know help me. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna you know, go. I'm run with it. And just a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. You know, be like, oh yeah, we are gonna help him. A lot of people don't do that. Yeah, just why, listen. Just always understand this: that your talent is your talent, and always watch what you do great. You know what I mean? When you watch for mistakes, remember they're mistakes. Yeah. So don't dwell on it. Yeah. You know, you just watch it. Okay, you I clean it up. It. I just clean it up. Other than that, you watch what you do. You watch yourself hit shots, make people fall. That's what, that's what like, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I made you, yes, yes, yes. You know, you yeah. just, you keep, you know, you got to keep that confidence up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. everybody else, their job is to try to bring your confidence down. I ain't gonna lie, they got to me a little bit. But I'm not gonna lie. They yeah, for sure did. Yeah. This is my journey, mm -hmm. my legacy. You control what you do. Nobody else do. They little narrative, they're gonna be like, they're gonna little narrative, they're gonna be like, okay, he did this, he did that. They want you to fall. I, I realize a lot of people want you, when you're at the top for so long, you're doing so great for so long, they want you, they're gonna say anything to get people out there idea that mm -hmm. you're not good. Anymore. And when I thought they seen that, I said they're right. They did anything in their power to to make it seem like I I'm i I was a wannabe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what it takes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And when I make it, when I make it happen, it's good. And I can't ignore what you said. You're willing to die for it. Yeah. And that, that, yeah. Those are strong words. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, no, it's, no, it's the no, passion. No, that's I'm, so, real I'm so serious, though. Yeah. I would die for this game. Yeah. I put in my life. I'm, my, my, my mom, my dad, my sister sacrifice a lot. I would die for this game. Because I know what this game had done for me that I didn't even think it would have done. And what it's more gonna it will do. It's going to do what it will do. Yeah, yeah it, it, it does so much. And it's going to continue doing it, but... As of as of far right now, it does it brought me brought me in places. I watched Gibb Arenas. I had a jersey. I had mm -hmm. I had shoes. I didn't ever in my life think I was gonna be next to him. Meet LeBron. Meet Col like I never thought in my life I would ever get a chance to meet these guys. I was always just a man, play 2K, play T he on TV. <laughs> I never thought that. Then when it actually happens, you're like, you know what? You gotta be thankful. I think for this game brought me brought me in places I've never been. So it's gonna take you, it's gonna take you more places. Yeah, it's gonna take sure. you more places, and then you're gonna become that to some other kids. Yeah. And now we know you never left. Yep. Oh yeah, I never left. I never left now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, you see me, I'm right here. I'm I'm alive. You know, <laughs> a, lot of people, a lot of people think I've been gone, man. I just I've just, I've just been working, man. Just getting better. Kyrie Walker, Thank thanks you. for coming on. No thanks, chill. Sir. Appreciate it. No chill with Gilbert Arenas. I'm Mike Baticello. That's Kyrie Walker. See you next time. Remember, catch us every Monday, 8 o'clock on Fubo. Gil, we're out. You gonna say goodbye? No, because you didn't say my goddamn name. <laughs> no, you just said you two like it's just you two. I was gonna be Gil like, Reedy. I just said, like, did out. I just give you that? We Gil, out. Gil. <laughs>